What's poppin' y'all, it's Tiger Time, and today we're looking at a new YouTube video, and uh, this is some Funko news for the new Funko Pops coming out. Well, uh, they have done this Halloween thing, uh, Funkween, halfway to Halloween. Not sure what that's about, but Kingpin doesn't look too good Venomified, but the other guy does. That Green Goblin looks amazing, I kinda want it. I definitely want that Green Goblin Venomified. Then we have the Universal Monster, Ziza. Your average Funko Pops, because, you know, um, it's Halloween, you gotta have them. Then you have Zombie Thor and a Red Hulk. Um, I'm not too interested in these two, but Zombie Thor does look pretty cool um, with his green hammer. They're also doing something with masks. And a way to make these masks better would to have them fully covering your head like a full helmet. Uh, and not have that clear bit in the middle for you to see out of. Just have like a little... Make it like a one-way mirror. Uh, that, like a that sort of style. But you have Blue Batman, Black Batman, Harley Quinn... Sally, Jack, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, uh, and you can, it is a strap around your head, and that little bit in the middle where you can see your eyes through it, it just puts me off them. I really wish they didn't have that, you can also have it, but I really wish they had the one-way mirror type thing. I know these are going to be like really cheap, because they're going to be like that really cheap plastic, um, but there is some sodas, you have Peter Venkman, uh, this chase isn't that interesting, I wish there was a new position or a new face expression for him instead of him just covered in goo same with this one um ash instead of just adding some blood you could have changed his position a little bit just to make it more dynamic like this next one the, the chest has a pumpkin head it's a completely different mold technically um and it's just i just wish they did that for all chases uh you know but moving on to some of the food characters we have um some like booberry uh frankie I don't know, Chocula, uh, but very cool, I do like them, moving on to the Jack Skellington section, these are all like trend things that you can connect up together, which is pretty cool, um, obviously Jack is the head of the trend, these art ones I'm not too interested in, because uh, it's not for me, but I can accept it, it does look pretty cool, but I, I just don't really like them, um, the keychain is not my style either, I think it's like for half the price of an actual pop, it's really not worth the keychain. Uh, but the glow in the dark, zero, Jack and zero is pretty cool. I do like that one. However, um, you can also get some, like, uh, a bag here. I don't know what that is, like a Halloween advent calendar thing. I don't, really don't know what that is. But the mayor's there. With a chase being his alternate head and some t-shirts. Who doesn't like a Funko t-shirt? They always have cool designs and patterns on them. Uh, this is really cool. Moving on to the Jack Skeleton can. Uh, which is Vampire Jack. Which is pretty cool. And I don't get why the average one has actual teeth on his teeth. Because skeletons have teeth. He has teeth there. They've just given him more teeth. I do like these Sugar Skull ones. I definitely want to get Harley Quinn. She looks like the coolest. As well as Blue Beetle and Flash here. Um, they're just my favourites completely. Really cool design. And hope some of them are blacklight. Because that's what they look like they're aiming for. And speaking of blacklight. You can get Rogue from the X-Men. Uh, there is some more X-Men blacklights here. In the form of Deadpool, Gambit and Magneto. The two I want are Rogue and De Deadpool. I did want the Spider-Man, but you can only get him with a t-shirt, and the t-shirt you have to buy from Funko Store, which is only in America, so sadly I could not get it. Uh, but you can also get a Blacklight Wolverine and a Magic Deadpool, I do believe, if you do buy the t-shirts here. Um, the t-shirts do look pretty cool. I do like the Blacklight design. You can get cups and socks and bags and pins. Um, the Blacklight design is just really cool, and I do like it. And they have moved it for away from superheroes and towards Alice in Wonderland. So you can get Alice, Mad Hatter, Queen of Hearts, and Cheshire Cat. Sadly, you can't get the hair, which is my favourite. Um, but yeah, uh, the they do come with posters, I do believe, which is Queen of Hearts, Alice, Mad Hatter, and Cheshire Cat. My favourite person is probably the Cheshire Cat, who's just got more colour and like more wavy designs. And there is soda ones. And the colours are inverted uh, on the chase ones. Again, which shows a different mould. For the chase ones. But I understand why. Uh, they are not uh, inverted. Because they've just inverted the colours. Instead of a new. Like shape for them. But there is some more t-shirts. I don't know why Alice and the Queen of Hearts. Get more love than any other character. Because they have two t-shirts. Compared to everyone else. 
And that was a complete lie because we have a Cheshire Cat t-shirt and a Mad Hatter t-shirt. And I'm pretty sure this is a close up, not a new t-shirt in general. Sorry if you get my information wrong, but I did correct myself at the end. We've got to Lilo and Stitch here. We have a jumbo size Stitch, Stitch sleeping in a roller coaster. This is probably be about 20 quid because they are more parts to a thing. Um, here we have Stitch. I do like the chase version with his mouth open. That's a good chase because it's a different mold. Um, that's what I'm more about. Like the chases have different molds. Uh, we have some mystery minis here. I do like Stitch in his space wear. I don't know what that dude in the middle is doing eating the fire. Uh, but yeah, we have Godzilla Stitch, which is FYE exclusive. Hot Topic has Sleeping Stitch, which isn't interesting to me very much. It's just Stitch having a nap. Then we got the Lucky Charms, uh, which is pretty cool. I do wish he had more, like, all the marshmallow parts on his hand instead of just the love heart. But it's still cool. Then we got Kool-Aid. This one's pretty boring. It's literally just the same design as the other packets, but with a Kool-Aid design and a recolor. Um, I think that one's kind of cheap. However, this one is completely different because it has the fire in its hand and he looks pretty angry. Um, this is hot. I don't know what they are. Pringles, when I first saw this, I thought that they made the Pringles design easier for the pop. But no, they just went with a simpler design altogether for the actual Pringles logo, which I'm not too happy about. Then we got Slurpees, which are the exact same mold, just in different colours. Um, I like the purple one with the blue. Um, and moving on to Demon Slayer, I definitely want Michael Jackson and Inosuke. Um, however, the other three, Zenitsu, don't really interest me. Um, I don't like flocked pops. The, the, like, fluff on them just feels weird. So I don't want to get that one. However, the one without his hat on uh, is very cool uh, as well. I can understand why that's a chest because it's a different mold. Um, then we have... Him fighting the spider guy, which wasn't my favourite episode. Uh, I didn't like the arc at all. Uh, it was quite boring, to be honest. Uh, I preferred the arc after it. But moving on, we have uh, Nezuko crawling out of a box, and then the other guys. Uh, here we have some sodas, which is Dracula, uh, Wolf, and Booberry. These look pretty interesting, and I do like how Booberry glows in the dark. I did get all these uh, things from... Original Funko, by the way. Um, but yeah, we have uh, Gizmo, uh, Spike. Uh, just looks really cool. I'm surprised none of these are flocked. However, I'm glad they're not flocked because I don't like the feel. However, speaking of feel, we have, obviously, Sully with the flocked chase. I don't want the flocked chase, so I'm glad it's a chase. And I just wish they did change up the mold to make it more interesting than just flocking it. Uh... But here is Elvira, um, a vampire witch, I guess. I don't really know who she is. But then we got the ginger girl from Hocus Pocus. Um, don't really remember what she did. Not gonna lie. Uh, however, you know, moving on to Jaws, which is more interesting. This is probably going to be like 30 quid because it's a boat and a shark in the ocean. However, it's a very iconic scene, so it is worth paying the extra money for. However, I'm not going to get it. Uh, then you got, uh, this guy, I forget his name, uh, but, yeah, I forget his name, I honestly can't remember. Then we got Scooby-Doo, this is the rock band from Scooby-Doo, the Halloween episode, I don't remember what they're called, but they were in a DVD special, I do believe, I don't remember the names though. And then you got Boo Halloo, uh, and you got a Godzilla dude looking there, uh, some chases, one in nine, one in thirty-six, one in eighteen. Vampire girl, zombie boy, werewolf boy, devil boy, skeleton boy, trick or treater girl, or is that a witch girl? I don't really know. You got a fluffy bat, a ghost, cat, cauldron, bag, and uh, I don't know what the bottom thing is. It looks like a square pillow, maybe. I don't know. Uh, oh, it's a card game. The card games. That what that was. Um, it wasn't a advent calendar for Halloween. It was a card game. Uh, but moving on to some sodas here, we have Mickey Mouse. Uh, again, just changing the colour doesn't make a good chase, in my opinion. Uh, like, same with Sully being flocked. Like, a chase should be a different mould or, like, a different position for the character. Because just having it changed to flocked is pretty lazy, in my opinion. But I know some people like it. Um, but I do like these sodas here. They are pretty cool. Um, 
for Barrel and whoever that guy is. But then we have Luca here, uh, which is pretty interesting. I do like how they did make two versions of the characters and give them mouths and noses, because it is a key part of their character. Uh, Youngblood's finally getting his Funko Pop, which is pretty cool, and I like how they're expanding to more rappers. Um, they can't do YouTubers, because that's U2's area, but I'm also glad they're expanding to more anime in Sword Art Online. I do want Kirito, because Kirito is my favourite from Sword Art Online. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I do. Um, and yeah, he's the only one I'm interested in out of these bunches. I have no idea who this is, but I'm glad that the chase does have his tongue out. I know it's just a head mold uh, being different, but it's still something to make it a chase and notice the difference. Here we have a gamma-sized Hulk for the immortal Hulk holding the world, which is on fire. This one looks pretty cool. However, I won't be getting it, but we got Krunk here with the poison. The poison for Cusco. Cusco is poison. The poison is designed specifically for Cusco. Uh, with Edna here, which is very interesting. I do like this two-pack bundle. It does look very cool because they're in the science outfits. Then we have the, uh, Flame Orion and Electro Orion. I don't know if that's the real names. I'm just adding Orion onto the fire light lightning type. Uh, here we have Atom, but I do want Flame Orion uh, from Pokemon. That one does look cool. Uh, Atom doesn't really interest me. Um, uh, but this golden one does, this golden stormtrooper, but they're all exclusive to WonderCon, so I probably won't be getting these ones. Sadly, they did make one of the three musketeers, especially Donald, um, an exclusive. I like Goofy the most, and I don't think he's been done yet, so I guess it's alright not having Donald. Uh, but moving on, we have the sun, the stud, pig lady. I do remember her character, she's like the weird witch that stole him. Uh, and tried to eat him, I do believe. Uh, with the His Dark materials, I do like that they have little Funko Pops as, like, little animals here. I do definitely like the little tiger the best, which was on the, uh, right. The Zombie Murdoch, which is out, coming out, uh, for the Murdoch show, which is pretty interesting. And Mighty Ducks Pops coming out when, uh, the Mighty Ducks TV shows come out, too, which is pretty cool. Uh, not too interested in Mighty Ducks, but we have a venomized Imperial Captain America. I've probably got that wrong, and I do apologize, but it does look very cool. It looks a lot different from the original. Here we have Wonder Woman, eight years. We have a lot of different poses for her. We have her old costume, her new costume, a warrior costume, a boxer costume. But then we got Falcon and Winter Soldier pops uh, with Agent Carter and Zemo. Which do look pretty interesting, and I'm glad they're here, and I'm glad Zima is wearing his mask. We got WWE here now, with uh, six wrestlers, which I don't know the name of any of them. However, the girl with the Harley Quinn style head does look pretty cool. However, I probably won't be getting any, because I don't watch WWE. Then we got Yoda, Baby Yoda, or the child, or Grogu, with some uh, little biscuits there. Uh, we got Mando without his helmet on, we got him with a butterfly, we got Baby Yoda with a butterfly, we got... Uh, a circle with a hood up and Baby Yoda being attacked by a little squid. Moving on, we're getting some more Office Funko Pops. I have never seen The Office and I'm probably not ever going to. Um, but there is a character here um, dressed up in sportswear. Then we have a sumo match, I guess. Some pins. Um, uh, a pencil topper. And then we got some more anime in the form of One Piece. We got Monkey Luffy. Like... I forgot what his name is, it's Luffy, but Monkey's somewhere in his name. We got the Skeleton Guy, Fire Guy, uh, Muscle Luffy, uh, and a special edition, Shiny Luffy. Shiny Luffy uh, is pretty boring because it's just making him shiny. Have We have a supersized pop for uh, a Ripley from Alien 3. Uh, sorry, I just had to remember that Deadpool line to remember her name. Then we've got some solar opposite pops, which have their eyes and mouths normal, which is partially because it's part of their main character, like, it's a main character design. we got some more Wonder Woman pops here. Should have put that with the others. But it looks like Black Lantern Wonder Woman, or, uh, like a zombie Wonder Woman. Then we have uh, John Walker as a uh, Captain America, Looks pretty cool. I do like that design. And then we have Deadpool. Uh, for Deadpool's 30th anniversary, which is pretty cool. Uh, the the Captain America uh, and the Winter Soldier series, Funko Pops, came out gradually as the show went on. 
This Bambi does look pretty cool, but I just don't like the art series with the weird prints, so I just prefer the average character. But when Venom got released, we did get two new Funko Pop designs, one for Venom and one for Carnage. I do like this Venom and I do like this Carnage, but we have another Jumbo-sized Carnage in, like, a different position, so I'm glad it's in a different position because it shows differentiation with the small and large, other than size alone. Moving back to the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, we have Captain America Falcon, we have... Um, John Walker in his agent, US agent suit, and Bucky in a weird red suit, which I don't remember him wearing. Then we have Captain America here flying off the ground in a cool position, him getting ready to block with his wings away, and him getting ready to fight with his wings out. Moving back to Alice in Wonderland, we do have the hair here, which is a character I do want, because he is one of my favourites from Alice in Wonderland. We have the Mad Hatter, um... I have a special connection to the hair because I did play the hair in a school play. So he does have a special play in my heart. But you have Tweedledum, Tweedledee, uh, Cheshire Cat, Alice. You know, just the main characters in Alice in Wonderland, basically. And I'm shocked it's taken them this long to get a partnership with Disney to make Alice in Wonderland pops. Um, you know, you can get the hair with a t-shirt and Alice falling with a book. Don't know what that's about, but we are getting Umbrella Academy pops. We have Vanya 5, uh, Monkey. These four I'm not too interested in. I prefer Klaus, so Klaus is the one I'll probably get. But Klaus doesn't look that good, not gonna lie. Klaus is there with his eyes closed. You can definitely tell that's Klaus. But he's in the same position as... I forgot his name. Um, but yeah, I do like the Klaus keychain pop better than the actual pop, so I wish they did make that design as a Funko Pop, they probably did, but I just forgot, uh, and we do have one division here, uh, in the form of Agent Rambo, pretty cool, I'm not sure if I've covered this pop before in a different news video, but I'm covering it again, because we have Cru Cruella Pops here, um, I do like this, these two pops, they are pretty cool, but the art series has made its way to DC, and you know how much I don't like the art series, um, as we have a blue Batman with some yellow spray on it. I just don't like it. It doesn't look good. Um, however, we have got some Avatar pops here. We have Ty Lee, Ang in the Avatar state. Uh, is that Kyoshi or is that Suki? I don't remember. Uh, then we have the uh, blue spirit, uh, Ang, which is shiny and not shiny. Then we have Mei uh, and we have General Zhao. And uh, the big man of the series, the fire captain man. I forget what it's called. Uh, however, we are getting some Space Jam Funko Pops uh, in the form of Martian, Iceman, Snake Girl, Daffy Duck, Bugs Bunny, uh, Sylvester, uh, Michael B. Jordan. That's not him. That's a different dude. This is LeBron James. LeBron James. Um, however, we are getting Taz, which is, seems to be the only version of Taz is Flocked. Which is very sad, because I don't like the Flocked figures, however, I do have a Taz Funko Pop. And moving on to the mystery minis, we do have, uh, Lola, uh, Mike, nope, LeBron James' son, Granny, Daffy, Bugs, Bugs, uh, Snake, Ice, Lola. Then we have Martian with a t-shirt, and Bugs with a t-shirt, but these two are different, they're shiny. Uh, when they come with a t-shirt, which is pretty cool. Then we have Zack Snyder's Justice League pops. We have Darkseid in a pop here, which looks like Thanos, not gonna lie. Uh, just the way the head is. Uh, then we have some black and white versions for all the, like, you know, marketing stuff that they did for uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League. Um, then we have Game of Thrones pops here. Game of Thrones is not my TV show, so I have no idea who these guys are, other than the Iron Throne, which is a bunch of swords. Um, still looks pretty cool. Uh, but there is a dragon here, which does interest me more. The silver dragons look pretty cool. I do like the baby one. Uh, but the big jumbo size one is probably the baby one all grown up, but, again, don't watch it, so I don't know. Uh, then we have Funka here, uh, in the form of Rapunzel, Moana, uh, Snow White. Pocahontas, and I probably want Pocahontas, but I'm not going to be Disney princesses, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, I have no idea. Ariel as a pen, Beauty as a pen, Shiny uh, Ariel with Sebastian, which looks pretty cool. Uh, also, rest in peace to Sebastian's voice actor. He sadly passed away these past few days. Um, but here is Michael 
No, not Michelangelo. Uh, Miles Morales uh, in two two new suits for the game and uh, Chase without his mask on. No idea what these are. Probably an anime, but I've never seen it. Uh, the little angry cat looks pretty interesting. And I have seen this one in Chops before with it being Darth Vader with his uh, comic book style or his first draft style or what people thought Darth Vader was going to look like. Then we have some more... Uh, Art covers, like some album covers in the form of Queen. These album covers don't really interest me. Uh, they're just not very good. However, moving on to every single um, sort of pop here. We have Marsh and Manhunter going lazy with a shiny. Uh, then we have Raphael, which is good because the head meld is different with an angry face, even though he does glow in the dark. That is a bonus. Um, but I do like Raphael for changing his meld. Then we have this dude. Uh... Snake, uh, pretty cool, he's changed his mold, moving his gun, ha sadly his head's the same, but that doesn't matter, we have a new mold for him, which is pretty cool, I do like this one, new mold again, with Crick Jaw McGraw, uh, can't tell if it's a cow or a horse, probably a horse, maybe a cow, I don't know, uh, just a recolor for, here's Johnny, uh, pretty sure that's what he's called, not sure, well he's called Jack Terrain, but I'm pretty sure that's what he does, Crash Bandicoot one does look pretty cool, but the chase is gold. Uh, you know what? It's just gold, isn't it? Uh, same with these uh, El Arachno and El Furioso, which are some uh, wrestlers for Spider-Man and Hulk. But their chase is a shiny. We have an Iron Man one and a Venom one. Uh, I do like Venom and Spider-Man. They are like probably the best two wrestler pops out there. Um... But we have the Cheetos guy who glows in the dark, but he's holding Cheetos in the chest. So he is technically different, which makes him more interesting and more desirable. Uh, Sonic is flocked. Again, I would rather not get the chest because I don't like the flocked feel. So if I got the chest one, I, it would be mixed emotions about it. However, I can't get these anyway, sadly. Um, but we just have a recolor for Ratfink uh, from Ratfink. He is a pretty ugly character, not gonna lie. Uh, with this, we have a new head mold and a new colour for him being mind-controlled, which is pretty interesting because he is about to be robbed um, by Robin Hood and the gang. Then we have Super Chicken. Not a new mold, but he glows in the dark. Pretty sad. However, this John Wick one is a new mold, and I do like the chase better because I prefer the wrecked version more than the normal version um, because, obviously, the wrecked version just looks cooler. Uh, moving on to Danger Mouse, uh, he's got horns here, so he's more devilish, and he's got a cooler tail, so the, uh, obviously it is a better version. Uh, same with the monkey here, uh, nothing much has changed about the chase version, other than it's flocked, which makes the colours go a bit uh, darker. I don't really like that, uh, but steadily going gold. Going gold, I don't really mind, because it shows that it is better than the original, because it's fully gold. Um... But, yeah, the rest of them aren't too good. This one's pretty cool because he does remove the hat. Don't know why that's important, however, but Professor Owl does lose the hat, which does make him more desirable. Same with this one, he does lose the jacket and all the co clockwork and, like, steampunk design to him. And he uses his more common design throughout the film, which is pretty cool. Then we have Murder Jojo with the chase being the black light. Uh, obviously, the black light is going to be more desirable because the black light is cooler. Um, and everyone loves Blacklight. Uh, Edna Bird has a new design with her face looking all cool, like she's excited to start doing the, uh, super suit making. Then we have Captain America here, um, with the chase version being shiny. I don't know what's different between these other than a little bit of shine, uh, which is pretty, not that interesting, but we have Nia losing his, uh, glasses and gaining a fun, which does... Make it better, in my opinion, because it is a different mold. Here we got Boruto glowing uh, as his chest. I don't know what glowing does for him, uh, but it's Boruto in it. Don't know what that does. Uh, Miguel's chest is probably the best chest out of all of them, because more people are going to want the chest, because that's his main design throughout the whole film, uh, compared to his normal look. However, the Rocketeer does not have a chest design. He's just basic throughout it all, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't mind that. 
Sometimes you don't need a chase. Like here, I say you don't need a chase to make this guy red. However, in the normal version, I don't know why his hair isn't black, because it is on the can, so it should be black, not pink. Same with the, the gold, it, like, the gold just means, you know, it's special, uh, but whatever. Uh, here we have the Black Widow one, which hair design changed, which is cool, uh, and the colour for the body changed. It's a complete different change. Uh, I know I complained about the chases a lot, but, you know, gotta do it. So, other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this YouTube video. See you all next one. Have a nice day, and goodbye. I probably won't be getting many of these. I, I said which ones I was getting.